Hey guys, it's your favorite bald biker here and there's a brand new GS. Yes, they're going to 1300 cc's and it looks like a pretty significant update, but I'm really, really struggling to care. And that's quite a surprise to me. But before you get your pitchforks and start pelting your pension cards at my skull, let's roll an intro and I'll try and do my best to explain myself. I'm going to break this video up into a couple of sections just to try and keep it concise for people who don't want to stick around for the long view and my frustrations with BMW in particular and the whole market as a whole. First question you've probably got is how do we know it's a 1300 when we've only got spy shots? Well, there's been patents filed by BMW. Those patents requested the naming rights for the M1300GS. Now why M? Well, that's because that's the performance series of BMW vehicles. Not only do we know it's going to be 1300 cc's, but we know we're getting a high spec, high performance version of the GS, which is very interesting because technically they've never made an M1300 before. So I'll be interested to see what happens there. I'm hoping they'll go lightweight and high performance, but I could be very, very wrong. We're getting that 50cc bump, so that means more power, more torque likely, and that's always a good thing with these bikes being so big. What else has changed? Well, it looks like we're getting radar on this bike. If you look between the squashed headlight and the screen, and it looks like there's a blank space there. Well, that's the radar system, so that means this will have adaptive cruise control, which will be fantastic for the long commutes. There is also rumor that it will get radar on the rear of the motorcycle, although that cannot be seen in the spy shots, so take that with a grain of salt. But it'd be fantastic to see as I would love any motorcycle I buy to be able to have blind spot detection for vehicles. It just makes it easier. It takes a little bit of that stress out in the commute to be able to know instantly from a little light on your rear view or up on your dash that there's someone sitting in your blind spot waiting to run you over. The other really big news is this engine looks like it's going to be completely water cooled. As the previous version, the 1250, was only liquid cooled in the heads and the other versions didn't have liquid cooling at all. So we can also see from the spy shots that it looks like a new exhaust system. Whether that will be the finalized product, we don't know yet, but it does look a little different to the old 1250. The suspension has been tweaked, although it is very hard, at least to my eyes, to discern the difference. And they are saying they are inverted forks that are different different to the outgoing 1250GS. The only problem is it's very hard to tell how they're different, they just look different to the eyes. If someone's got some eagle eyes and can maybe discern it for themselves and let me know down below, it definitely looks like they've got a different suspension set up to the old 1250. Here, if you look at the images, they're actually got a fake frame on this bike. So if you look, it's covered in plastic and that looks like the frame and that frame looks fairly similar to the 1250. But eagle eyed people have identified that this is actually a frame cover. So the frame is actually different on this 1300 GS and BMW look like they're trying to hide that. So that's interesting as well. And lastly, you're probably wanting to know when will this be on sale? When can I trade in my 1200 or 1250 for this bike? Well, there's no official announcement yet, but what is interesting is BMW have passed all the emission standards in California, I believe for the 1250 for next year. So that suggests that the 1300 probably won't be a 2022 release, but I would be willing to bet to say sometime in 2023, maybe in the first half of the year, but who knows what will happen. One thing that does give me a little bit of hope with this GS is it does look like it's a little smaller than the 1250. And if that's the case, I'm also hoping that it will be a little bit lighter as that would be fantastic. And that's where I wanna see the category heading in the right direction. Now, like I said, this isn't necessarily a dig just at BMW. This is a dig at the industry and where it's heading. So let's start with reason number one. The 1250 is already a bloody brilliant bike for what it is. It's a fantastic adventure tourer with all the technology on the planet. You can make yourself a coffee and pilot the bloody thing to the moon. It's got that much tech and that much comfort to it. I think they're really great adventure touring bikes. But at the same token, I really feel like BMW have got lost in the woods. It's got heavier and heavier over the years and more technologically advanced. So it's got better and better as a road bike, particularly as a touring bike. And it's got worse and worse as an off-road bike. Basically, it centers around weight and where the bike is heading in the market and a failure to offer something to the people they've left behind. 
they're kind of settling for making money here and trying to sell as many bikes as possible. Manufacturers used to take risks. They used to make bikes that no one had thought about, push the boundaries, really making motorcycles that we'd never seen before. That was a common thing. Bikes that changed history, like the R80 GS did, so did the R1. I can think of a thousand other motorcycles. The CB750, just so many bikes changed how we saw motorcycles. And I haven't seen much of that lately from many manufacturers. And they have all the technology to do so, but they just keep chasing profits. All the manufacturers, I think they've lost that spirit to chase and take risk. Now, I know the economic environment isn't really conducive to that at the moment, but you've got to ask yourself, if you're a motorcycle manufacturer, isn't a core tenant of riding a motorcycle taking and facing that risk and conquering that risk. And if the motorcycle manufacturers aren't willing to go with us on that journey of taking risk, then what the hell is the point? Mm -hmm.